The new year is just around the corner and everyone is going to be live streaming. Are you ready to take that next step with your channel? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up OBS Studio so you can live stream in 2018. YouTube Simplified. Hi and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. My name is Dan Courier and it is my mission to simplify YouTube so you and I can grow together. You know, live streaming is a great way to help your YouTube channel grow. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up OBS Studio so you can start live streaming in 2018. That's coming up. All right, so in to install OBS Studio, we just want to search for it in Google. It'll be the first result here. We're going to click on Download OBS Studio. In my case, it's Windows 10, so Windows 7 Plus will work. We'll see that it is downloading over here. And on Install, we can show you how it will automatically offer to test your uh, potential streaming speed, which is a great feature that they apparently added somewhere in the past year I believe. I'm going to go ahead and launch that. Accept the terms. Would you like to run Auto Configuration Wizard? This is what we want to do. We will say yes. Optimize for streaming. Recording is secondary. Yes. And base canvas resolution. What are our options? That's our we will use 1920 by 1080 frames per second, 60 or 30. Don't really need to stream at 60 frames per second. But prefer, we'll see what that does there. All right, and then we need to go over to YouTube, Creator Studio, live streaming. I have to hide that from you guys. Here we go. Make sure that's there. Also want to make sure that this is set to private in case it does some testing. Next. Well, it's Oh, that's my problem. I had it set to Twitch. We don't want that. YouTube. Next. And again, it tells you to set it to private, which it is. And then when you're on the correct one, the bandwidth test is about to stream randomized video data without audio to your channel. If you're able, it's recommended temporarily turn off saving the video streams and set it the stream to private until after the test so it'd be a much more valuable test when you're trying to connect to your YouTube channel and not to Twitch determine that the settings high quality medium file sizes 10,000 video bit rate 1920 and 60 frames per second apply settings And there we have it. It is installed. I recommend when you're using OBS Studio for live streaming that you take advantage of the studio mode down here, which allows you to kind of set transitions up on this side. And then you can actually, in the middle here, you can um, set up, you can click on the add transition and set it to whatever you'd like it to be. And you can do a fade or a cut at different speeds. And then when you're ready, you click that button and it transitions from one side to the other. So that is all there is to it, to install OBS Studio. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you would like to receive notifications for future videos that can help simplify YouTube, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you've clicked that bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. That's all the time we have for today. My name is Dan Courier and you're watching Creator Fundamentals. Thank you.